Good morning, everyone. Well, my my wheels were running a little slow this morning, so I uh, had to get my coffee to go. Unfortunately, it looks like I just missed my bus um, anyway, but however, that's not the last bus that'll get me to work on time, so not too big a deal, just annoying that I have to wait out here for another one. Man, this mug, like, I just found it just now. This, this is going to sound weird, but I drank a lot of coffee as a kid, and this was like my childhood coffee mug. So this is really funny to see. I didn't even know I still had it. This is awesome. It's like nostalgic coffee beans. It's great. And if it's true that coffee stunts your growth, then thank God I drank coffee as a kid because I am tall. And now for today's installment of how not to advertise. So I just saw this, this like paper coffee cup on the ground and on the side of it, it said half full it's how we've seen our coffee for however long, something along those lines. But, like, guys, I know you're trying to make it sound like you're optimistic, you know, cup half full. But you're kind of making it sound like it's an excuse for not giving us as much coffee. You don't really want to advertise that your cups are half full. And that concludes how not to advertise. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so I thought there would be another bus in time to get me to work. Again, there's a, the whole bus system has been completely changed as of this week. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, there's like 10 minutes until I need to be at work and my first bus hasn't even shown up yet. So I'm a little, uh, a little on edge. <laughs> he was just standing up. He appears to be doing a lot better. Little sticks. What? <laughs> He's like, what do you want? I'm trying to sleep. He's back to normal. Well, I mean, normally he's lovey, but I can tell he's back to normal. Yeah. You look a lot better today. And really clean. Look at you. Yeah. What? Oh, she's coming. Meow. You guys have to wait. I'm making myself some oatmeal, but it's like not even six o'clock yet. You too. He's actually walking on his paws today, so that's really good. I was honestly really scared that maybe doing the little operation that we did yesterday was not the right choice. Maybe it would make it worse because, you know, we're not properly trained veterinarians. We don't have completely sanitized operating quarters, but I think we did what was best for him. We took that thing out of his paw, and he knows how to best take care of himself. He's a cat, so I think he's fine. Is that not an incredibly beautiful sky? You can see that nice big star there. It's kind of hiding behind some trees, but... One of the cool parts of winter, and you probably won't know this if you live closer to the equator. I don't know how it works, honestly. The stars are brighter at night, and the night sky is really, really pretty. And when the sun sets, everything turns, or sets, grammar, huh. when the sun sets, everything turns orange. Like, sometimes in the winter, the sun looks like blood red. There's like a Christmas song, I can't remember what it is, and it talks about the sun being like a pumpkin head. And it's completely true, like, during the winter, for some reason, the sun gets really orange and red. And so that's one cool thing about this time of the year, is that sunsets are gorgeous and sunrises are gray. <laughs> but look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, hello, I'm wearing really my uh, pseudo MacGyvered together headset. <laughs> I feel like summer went by really quickly, and then next month we're gonna get back into daylight savings time. Is it that we get back into sa daylight savings or we come out of it? I honestly don't know. You know what, whatever. <laughs> so the sun's gonna be setting at like four, <laughs> which is a really crazy thought. It's only some time past six right now. Back in the summer, you know, the sun would still be up around like 8 o'clock. And now it's almost already completely set. I wish it would stay like this for longer in the day. <sighs> well, I've been trying to stay positive and not complain about the recent changes that our bus system made, but they really nerfed the buses in my area. It's not too bad getting to work, which is good, because I would be late all the time if it was. But getting home from work, it's ridiculous. I mean, the fact that 
I have to transfer at all when I can practically see my work from my balcony is ridiculous, but when I'm transferring and waiting for my second bus on the way home, I've had to wait half an hour every day, which is really frustrating considering I had an amazingly good commute, like a 10 minute commute before. So thanks a lot, buses. Thanks for taking my nice things away from me. <sighs> well, my evening just keeps getting better and better. Turns out that uh, my credit card is maxed out with interest, which means that I can't buy food for the rest of the month. Yeah. You look pretty comfy. Yeah, how's your paw doing? It's not all bloody and gross and disgusting and horrible like it was yesterday, is it? Hey. He's creeped out by the noises in the hallway. Hey. There were some really, really creepy, squeaky noises happening, probably from upstairs, but it sounds like it's in the hallway. Hey. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you can't ignore me. No, it's there. like biologically impossible for you. Yeah, you're obsessed with love and attention. <laughs> it is your lifeblood. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, but this couch... Couch? This couch feels extra comfy right now. Could possibly be... Thanks to my new body pillow, and by body pillow, I mean a pillow that's literally a body. Hi. It's pretty comfy. Just lean back here. <laughs> no. ah, comfy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. <laughs> How you doing? I'm sleepy. Yeah, me too. What with the midnight and everything. <laughs> what with the midnight? Sounds like a really cheesy, like, romance novel. <laughs> what with the midnight? If I'm not lazy, I'll Photoshop a nice image for that. <laughs> I'd very much like that. <laughs> I've got some old white shirts that I can <laughs> wear <laughs> open with my blonde hair in the wind. We'll have to get, like, well, I guess we have a fan. <laughs> anyway, I don't even know if I'll do that. And if I didn't use the power of your beautiful imaginations. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to imagine that? I don't think anybody has ever been successfully seduced by those eyebrows, ever. You feel unseduced yet? It's awkward because you're doing this right in front of me. No. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Call me. <laughs> hey, girl. What? Nothing happened. Hey, girl. Hey, girl, hi. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting on the rambly, silly, need to sleepy side. So, Which is pretty much us all the time. Let's go to bed. Mm. Come on. No. Come on. There's a table right in front of me. Do you remember the last time you tried to pick me up? Do you remember what happened <laughs> the last time you tried to like pick me up in front of me? I may table? or may not have dropped her and injured her badly. You may or may not have cracked my rib. <laughs> it was really awkward. And now that you all know I'm a horrible abuser, <laughs> I guess it's time to say goodnight. I don't know what that face was, sorry. Unacceptable. <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> anyway, good night, Annie. Right. Bye.